You want him to kill me? Yes, of course. I mean, why would I waste my venom on someone like uh, Ethan Winthrop? No, the strawberries were for you, and I assumed that you were going to eat them, but then turns out that uh, greedy Ethan here ate just about each and every one of them. He didn't have a chance. Don't you even care? I mean, you thought that he was your grandchild for over 25 years. Yes, but then it, it was revealed he wasn't. He didn't have any of my blood in him, so I discarded him. I mean, after all, I don't care whether he lives or dies. It means absolutely nothing to me. But I do care if you live or die. You know, here's one last strawberry left. Interesting. You know, I've never been one to deny you a treat, Teresa. So I just want to make sure that you eat your delicious strawberry. So suck. Why are you doing this? Haven't you figured it out yet, Mrs. Crane? I know the truth. The truth? Yes. I know about the bastard son you had with Ethan. That means that little Ethan is not a crane. You made a fool out of me. You had me make your bastard child. Crane bear. You. You did that. You can tear up the will. You. You can take all the money. I don't want any of it. I just. I need to save Ethan. Please, please let us live. <laughs> let, let you live. No one will ever know that little Ethan isn't a crane.